Hello everyone, my name is Katarina from Garden Design Tools and uh, Lumia 9 is, uh, is live now um, today on the 5th of November 2018 so I just received the license, I installed it and um, I just wanted to check with you guys uh, some of the new things that they are introducing in this version um, so straight away um, the icons change a little bit in the program um, as you can see now, they are here down all. Uh, so the, you have the, the object uh, toolbar. Um, this is, it's, uh, it was before here uh, vertically on the left. So now it's all here down in the toolbar down um, in the bottom of the screen. So you have the landscape that looks a bit the same. Um, you have the weather. Uh, it's pretty much the same as well. So in objects and in uh, materials is the main differences. Um, here, this is basically the same. It's just down here now. Uh, the 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 build, the save files, and the photo, animation, a movie, uh, 360 panorama, and the settings. Um, here you now you have the imports. So you can see here all the uh, the models you import to your Lumion program. You have the nature, so you have some uh, new uh, material, some new uh, uh, plants. Apparently, I still need to check it out. Uh, at the, as, at the first glance, it looked a lot like the ones you had before, but now the trees, for example, they have broadleaf conifers and palm trees. Um, before uh, the broad leaves used to be divided in, in like small, medium and uh, taller uh, trees. Uh, now they put all in the same. So if you hover through the thumbnail, if you hover with the mouse, you have uh, the thumbnail you can see slightly larger. So the, the, the here the main thing is that the icons are different and they, they add some, some cars as well and some uh, in objects as well, indoors um, mainly, and um, we'll check it out the outdoors as well. But uh, not like a lot, a lot uh, in terms of different uh, items. Um, maybe just more in the indoors. In terms of the materials, the main uh, differences are the um, I definitely need to check this out if there is some, some uh, I'll let guys know in the, in the, another video what other furnitures they have or what are the um, objects they have um, in terms of novelties. Um, but the, the main, uh, the main um, improvement for garden designers landscape architects it has to do with the skylight and real skies when you're rendering your images and the 3d grasses in materials okay so as you can see here before you used to if you wanted a uh, grass material with the real um, um, grass blade uh, used to go to custom and you had the 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 landscape uh, so it, it, uh, you add a landscape material to that surface and uh, then through the landscape material you could add the grass blades as a 3D grass. But now you have in nature and you have here a 3D grass tab and you have these types of grass, 3D grass, okay, and this is pretty cool. And you can definitely have now uh, different areas of grass in your, in your, in your garden. You know, like in a real garden setting, okay? It's a more ornamental uh, grass. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty nice um, improvement, I think. And if you, if you, it's a bit heavy this model. That's why it's a bit slow. Um, you have here the settings. The settings change a little bit here as well. Uh, colorization, gravity force, bending force, grass size, grass length. This is something nice to, to just, uh, you know, if you not cut the grass for a long time. Definitely some settings uh, to, to, 
to really customize your, your materials. They have some, some other materials as well. We're going to be able to check it out. Um, I'm still, I'm still, uh, I just received today, I just installed now, so I'm really still, you know, uh, really looking into it as well. So, but I know they have some new stone material, um, but I really need to check it out and, and try it on. But I'm really looking forward to it and it looks amazing and again it looks like their partnership with Polygon, a lot of the materials that they have new, everything is from Polygon, I think. Definitely some new materials from Polygon here. Okay, so this is a bit more the settings like we had before. And show the extended settings. Now it's called not only scale, but map scale costumes. So don't know exactly the change of name, but maybe I'm sure there is a reason for it. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, like the settings we used to have before. And again, you can add the, 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 the leaves and like you used to have before as well. So this is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, so the main uh, news, the, the main introductions to Lumia 9, Skylight 2 and Real Skies. We, I'm going to show you that in the photo now, in the, the renderings. That's amazing. The, again, it's... Um, uh, in polygon as well, uh, 3D grasses, furry materials, especially for indoors. If you want to add carpets with uh, uh, furry uh, textures, that's pretty cool. They had more materials, more objects. Uh, life sync for Rhino, for whoever works with Rhino, life sync now. Um, they updated OpenStreetMap as well. Uh, Lean scene building workflow. So I'm gonna do another video uh, just regarding that. Save groups. So you're gonna able to, to be able to save groups of items now. Uh, intuitive uh, object placement. Instant object focus. Import edges and automatic file recovery. So again, this is uh, uh, some uh, some uh, some. Um, things we're going to explore in the in the next videos and I'm definitely going to update the, the the course okay the online course so so basically all the online course it's the same it's still it's uh, you're still going to be able to learn how to work in Lumion it's just the 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 place of the icons change a little bit but nothing major and in the I'm going to add um, updates video updates in the end of the course so you always keep up to date with the Lumion version uh, in here, in effects, you have here, the effects are basically the same, but now you have here, uh, you have Skylight 2 here, okay, to, to, to explore. This is definitely something to explore, uh, but you need to, to, uh, to see the, in the rendering images as well after. And Real Sky here. So now what you have in real sky, you have cloudy, evening, morning, overcast, sunset and clear. And you have different skies that will change automatically the hour of, in your, of your um, garden, okay? Of your, of your um, garden, the image you're trying to render, okay? So if you put the evening sky, all the things get darker. So this is something to have in mind. So I'm going to render some images and edit in the end of this video, okay, for you guys to check it out. But it looks amazing. This, the, the skies definitely, they look amazing. And it's really nice to explore as well. They just, if you, for example, if you're trying to, if you add real skies, I saw that sky and clouds and, for example, sci, um, sun study, you're not able to work, you see, you have here, effect is blocked by another effect. So, if if I block real skies, then I can work with sun study and 
sky and clouds okay so this is just to have in mind that the real skies block first least sky and clouds in sky uh, sun study it blocks these two effects okay so that's just to have that in mind okay guys but i'm gonna add the renderings in the end of this video for you to check it out and i'm definitely gonna do more videos about all the new um things that lumion bring us and uh, definitely if i can find some new plants or some new materials they have i'll share it with you okay see you guys see you next time